The music world was rocked on May 2022 when pictures emerged of Young Thug, Gunna, and other YSL members being escorted out of their Atlanta homes by law enforcement. A statement followed shortly after from District Attorney of Fulton County, Fannie Wallace, clarifying that the key members of the group were arrested on a RICO charge. As more and more information started coming through, it began to look really bleak for the label group. Nobody would have ever imagined that seven months later, Gunawana, whose real name is Sergio Kitchens, would be a free man. Many have claimed that Gunna snitched and broke street codes while others feel it's too early to tell. In this video, we shed light on the situation by deep diving into the case. On May 2022, a grand jury indictment was brought up against the rap collective called Young Slime Life, YSL, and some of its members, including Thug, Lil Duke, and Gunna. The indictment, which is 88 pages long, labels YSL as a criminal street gang and lists 182 instances where the group is accused of taking part in illegal activities and criminal plots. The evidence used to support these claims includes lyrics from their songs, posts on social media, and clothing or accessories with the word slime on them. The indictment is part of a larger 56-count RICO case against Thug, Gunna, and 26 other members of their collective YSL. Some of the individuals involved are being charged with serious crimes, like attempted armed robbery and murder. It's no surprise that both Thug and Gunna have been denied bond multiple times. The case has received a lot of attention, particularly in the hip-hop community, as many believe it's just another example of the criminal justice system unfairly linking rappers to violent crimes through their art. Nevertheless, District Attorney Fanny Wallace argues that there has been a recent 60% increase in violent crime in Atlanta and has promised to tackle the rise in violence. But what is a RICO? RICO, the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, is a United States federal law that was enacted in 1970 to address organized crime and racketeering activities. The law allows for criminal prosecution of individuals and organizations engaged in a pattern of criminal activity such as fraud, bribery, money laundering, and other crimes related to organized crime. The law also provides for civil remedies for individuals who have been harmed by RICO violations. The RICO Act was created as a response to the growth of organized crime in the United States, particularly in the form of criminal syndicates, such as the Mafia. The law was designed to target the leaders of these organizations who were often immune from prosecution due to their ability to control or intimidate witnesses and because they were not directly involved in criminal activity. The RICO Act provides for harsh penalties, including substantial fines and lengthy prison sentences, making it an effective tool for combating organized crime. Young Thug has been a long and proactive advocate against the use of rap lyrics as evidence in court. On June 12, Young Thug made a plea from jail to say that he uses his music as a form of artistic expression and that black artists and rappers should have the freedom to do the same. He asked his fans to sign the Protect Black Art petition and to keep praying for him and the Young Stoner Life Collective. The petition, co-written by Kevin Lyles and Julie Greenwald, CEO of 300 Entertainment and COO of Atlantic Records, respectively, calls on federal and state legislators to adopt laws that limit the use of rap lyrics as evidence in court. For many, this is just part of a long and racist history of the criminal justice system trying to suppress black art, especially considering that other art forms, such as books, movies, and plays, often feature similar themes but are not used as evidence in court. As a result, leading to the perception that the criminal justice system is singling out black artists and rappers. How did Gunna get acquitted of all charges? A little over seven months after his arrest in May, Gunna made a deal with the court through an Alford plea, which allows him to plead guilty even though he still maintains his innocence. As part of the deal, his five-year sentence was reduced to time served and 500 hours of community service. Days later, seven other defendants in the case also took plea deals and were released from jail ahead of the new year. 
Gunner made it clear in a statement that he had not made any statements, cooperated, or agreed to testify in the trial. He told WSB, while I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case, and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. Gunna also stated that he sees this as an opportunity to give back to his community and educate young people about the dangers of gangs and violence. The plea meant that all defendants had to admit that YSL is not just a label, but a gang that poses a danger. So what? Well, the prosecution claims that YSL is a criminal street gang that has affiliation with the National Bloods Gang, and some associates claim the Blood Subset Gang's Sex Money Murder or 30 Deep. And according to them, Young Thug is the leader and the heartbeat of this YSL criminal organization. Therefore, the bulk of the charges are set to fall onto him. Gunna isn't the only one who caught the plea deal. However, as Young Thug's brother Quintavious Greer, also known as Unfunk, Lil Duke, as well as the YSL co-founder Walter Murphy. Still, as one of the most high-profile celebrities in this case, all the attention has been placed onto him. According to reports, notable figures in the industry have began to unfollow Gunna on social media, including Lil Baby, Lil Yachty, and Meek Mill. Additionally, there have been murmuring on other platforms, including Twitter, from fans or former fans, shall we say, that there has been disloyalty from Gunna, despite the fact that Thugger helped him come up. Listening back to Gunna's lyrics, you can hear that he was very representative and proud of his association with the label. However, as soon as serious allegations have become associated with YSL, he has been quick to disassociate himself. Some have even gone as far as to call him a snitch. Although he hasn't actually made a statement or testified against Young Thug, by admitting that YSL is a gang, he has hammered in the last nail in the rapper's coffin. Gunna further added fuel to the fire when he posted onto social media after his release with a picture of himself at his luxurious home. While this may seem tame, it was the caption that got people going. They acting like they switch into a side, but it's only one side. Hashtag YSL the label. Hashtag free thug and yak. Gunna back. Many alluded to the fact that not only did he admit in court that YSL is a gang, but he is now on the outside flaunting his freedom. Furthermore, he's included in the hashtag free young thug and free yak to the caption without acknowledging that he may be one of the reasons that they end up in prison in the long term. In all honesty, it's clear that Gunna feels as though he didn't snitch, which may be true. However, in the eyes of many, he has dishonored the street code, which is never to cooperate with law enforcement. At least that's what YSL co-founder Mondo thinks. Speaking with Murphy Lee on the Ugly Money podcast, he let his frustrations be known. I always said, bruh, he was a good genuine, but certain makes you do certain. You can't say, oh, they tricked me, or, oh, I ain't talked, or I don't know what's going on. Come on, my brother. It's certain you just don't do. And hey, boy, you crossed the line, my brother. You did that. Young Thug has been in jail since May 2022, and he's currently standing trial. His lawyer, Brian Steele, has been fighting for better jail conditions for Thug and has filed an emergency motion asking for bond. However, this request has been denied. According to Steele, Thug is being held in what can only be described as solitary confinement in a windowless cement room with just a bed and a toilet. There's an overhead light that remains on 24-7, making it impossible for Thug to sleep or rest. He has no access to any media or the internet, and he can't exercise, shower, or have any human contact. Gunna has also spoken out against these inhumane conditions in a post on Instagram, where he shared an open letter with his followers. Jury selection for the trial began on January 4th and is expected to last until February. Until then, we'll have all the details to keep you in the loop as they break. But for now, let us know in the comments below whether you think Gunna still has a future in the music industry. 
Or are there no morals when good music and money is involved? 6 9 comes to mind. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications on our next video.